All right, so it's relatively important to have proper sleep settings in a work environment, particularly if you are going to be in an office, maybe somewhere that other people, maybe people that do not work for you will have access to your computer potentially. Um, so you'll want to make sure that you have appropriate sleep settings set up on your computer. So you can manage this from the settings application and then you can go into system. From here you want to go to power and sleep. Now typically your computer will be connected to power um, so you'll have it set different settings here for when you're on battery power or when you are plugged in. So uh, when you're on battery power you may want to have your PC go to sleep earlier to save battery and then also the same would pro probably apply for the sleep settings. Now when a PC goes to sleep that means that it's inactive and it will require a password um, to be entered when you come back and go to log into that computer again. So lower sleep settings, you know, shorter amounts of time are going to be more secure in general. And we can also uh, adjust what the screen saver does. Now certain types of certain types of displays, it's best to have a screen saver if you want the screen to actually be on even when the computer is sleeping or when you're away from it. It just protects your monitor from burn in. So you can mon uh, manage that, excuse me, by going to the control panel and just searching for screen saver. Then you can come here to change screen saver. Right now I don't have any set up. I just have my PC go to sleep and turn the screen off. But you could come in here and select from a number of different things. You could have it cycle through photos or do a number of different special effects like that. If you're going to do this, you can manage the number of minutes it takes before that uh, screensaver goes into effect. And then you probably want to have it display the logon screen when you resume as a security measure.